For all your t-shirt needs, check out Tee Public's Killer Selection. Follow the link in the description. Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and I've got another yay. It's mail day unboxing for you guys. I've got three packages here. Uh, two of the three, I know what the contents are. The third will be a mystery unboxing. So without further ado, let's dive right in. And let's start with this package here. I believe I know what this is. This is from my buddy, Tori. And my buddy, Tori... Um, he had purchased some movies from Diabolic DVD. Now, I had never purchased anything from Diabolic DVD until very recently, and I picked up a very nice Digibook Blu-ray release of a film that is not yet available on Blu-ray in the U.S., and that is an absolute crying shame because this is a great movie that I have no idea why it's not on Blu-ray, but I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. I'm going to do a full review of the movie and of the the Digibook Blu-ray release uh, sometime in the very near future. So, uh, but without further ado, I'll go ahead and open this. Um, Turi told me that he had he purchased this from Diabolic DVD, um, and he must have forgotten that he purchased it because they sent him two, um, or he 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 may have purchased two. It didn't realize he'd purchased two or Diabolic just messed up and sent him two instead of one. I don't know. But he offered to send this to me because it's a uh, it's a doozy of a movie. It is the 35th anniversary of Yore, the Hunter of the Future. And I've never seen this movie. I actually checked out the, um, the trailer for this film. And it looks like... Um, it looks like a doozy. It definitely looks like a doozy. Um, and uh, let's see, this Blu-ray includes a new audio commentary from Reb Brown and a theatrical trailer. And uh, yeah, got a nice slipcase here on the cover. Let's see, who released this? Columbia Pictures uh, and Mill Creek Entertainment. Okay, so got a nice, ooh, got a nice slipcase here. And we've got some, uh, some other footage here on the inside on the, oh my God. <laughs> Just uh, soak that in right there, guys. That is some cover art right there. I'm assuming that's your there in a triumphant pose with a lady uh, at his feet. And that is a great, great, great piece of artwork right there. I can't wait to check this movie out. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so thanks, Turi. Thank you for your generosity. I appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to watch this soon and I'll do a review of it for you guys. But if you've seen your, the hunter from the future, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. But thank you again, Terry. I appreciate it. All right, let's move on. Um, okay. This is the mystery package. So I will actually save it for last in this package. Let's see. Where's my trusty knife? Where is my trusty knife? Here we go. Um, this package was sent to me by a gentleman by the name of AJ, and AJ has recently gotten into making hockey masks, and he said he wanted to send me a couple of masks to do an unboxing video, and well, here is the unboxing of those masks. So AJ, thanks for sending me the masks, I appreciate it, and um, let's open this bad boy up and let's take a look at it. I believe these are both... Um, Freddy versus Jason masks. All right, here we go. And yep, there are two masks in here. Oh, very cool. Looks like <laughs> you put them in crime scene um, evidence bags. Very, very nice touch. Um, very, very nice touch. Now, let me see one of these. Wow, this looks like... Okay, uh, AJ said that he was sending me a deluxe version and just a kind of regular budget uh, version of the hockey mask. So let's start with the budget version. And uh, Mr. AJ's um, business is Louisville or Lou Evil 
masks. There's a uh, there's the tag. Lou Evil masks. Like that. Nice touch there. Nice touch there. And this is wow. This is really well done. It looks like he took a oh very nice on the straps too. By the way, it looks like he took a, a one of the cheap. Um, Chinese plastic masks here, but he's formed it in a way. I don't know if he used a um, a heat gun or what, but he's kind of formed it to make it look a little more screen accurate. That's a nice touch, definitely a nice touch. And the straps, yes, they're the vel, they're the not velcro, but they're the elastic straps. But they've got the nice little ring there in the back, and um, they look really cool. And he's got the fasteners here on the top, just like they are in the film. So for a budget mask, this looks really freaking good, man. Really freaking good. And AJ signed it. Very nice. The, this, for a budget mask, this is very, very good, I have to say. I have to say. And he's got a price on the back here, $35.13. That's pretty good price for this mask, I have to say. And it looks great. The weathering looks great. The damage um, from Freddy's razors looks really good. Yeah, really nice work on this, I have to say. I've actually thought about getting like a heating gun or something myself to make the, um, the plastic blanks and the Chinese plastic blanks that I've been using too to kind of form them a little bit to make them look, um, to make them look a little bit more screen accurate. So yeah, this is very nice for a budget hawk, I have to say, very nice for a budget hawk. And now this looks like a deluxe hawk. This looks and feels like a more screen accurate deluxe hawk here. Oh yeah, oh wow. Oh wow, this is very nice. Very, very nice. Yes, this is from a uh, a, a more screen accurate blank, a thicker blank, a much more sturdy blank. But yeah, this is the Freddy vs. Jason mask before um, the Freddy damage from the, the claws, the razor fingers. Really nice weathering on this one. Really just really nice overall. And leather straps on the back. Very, very nice touch. Got the little ring there. But yeah, leather straps, very, very nice. And let's see, uh, this one is the uh, Freddy vs. Jason, the pre-fight mask. And this one has got a price tag on it for a hundred bucks. And that's, that's kind of the price range you get into when you get a hockey mask like this that's on a more screen accurate, um, much thicker, um, much better quality, um, hockey mask that's more akin to the price range where you're going to be finding masks of this um, of this caliber but this is a really really cool mask AJ you did an excellent job on both of these I have to say both of these are very nice masks I will shoot some footage um, some close-up footage of both of these and I will insert that footage through the magic of editing right now So yes, again, thank you, AJ, for the Two Freddy vs. Jason masks, the pre-fight mask on a more screen accurate, uh, much higher quality uh, blank, and the, um, the, the battle damaged hawk here, um, which for a, uh, for a uh, cheap um, Chinese blank, you molded it to be more screen accurate, and it looks really, really nice. So AJ, 
Very talented guy, clearly. Check out Lou Evil Masks. There's the tag. If I can get it to focus. There we go, Lou Evil. All right, and last but certainly not least, I've got a box here from Comet TV. Now you guys have seen me unbox these Comet TV boxes in the past. Um, I host giveaways just about one every month for Comet TV over on my website, pizzell.com. And I'm guessing that the contents of this box are um, are what Comet TV is offering up in this month's giveaway, which I may have already posted that giveaway. Um, if I have, head over to my website and go ahead and enter to win. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead, open this guy up and see what Comet TV has sent me. Oh, the, uh, this one, yeah, this one's pretty stuffed. This one's pretty heavy. Oh, cool. Oh, very, very cool. Okay. Got a card here from Comet and Charge. It says, Comet TV Influencers, we have some exciting changes to the program, blah, blah, blah. Johnny Mnemonic and Kickboxer Goodies. Johnny Mnemonic and Kickboxer Goodies. And actually, the very first thing that I saw when I opened this box was Kickboxer. And this is in like a VHS clamshell case. Of course, it's got Van Damme there, the Kickboxer uh, artwork. On the bottom of it, it says Charge. So Charge must be, Charge is a new um, TV network. I'm guessing sort of a sister network to Comet TV where they are going to be playing a lot of action movies like Kickboxer. So let's open this guy up and see what kind of Kickboxer goodies we've got. Whoa, got a lot of Kickboxer goodies and stuff inside here. Oh, we've got some little, some little poster cards. Reptilicus. Very nice. Best Worst Movies March 2018. Okay, so that's the theme for March on Comet TV, best worst movies, and they're featuring movies like Crater Lake Monster, Creature, Curse of Bigfoot, Jaws of Satan, Johnny Mnemonic, Mars Needs Women, Monster Dog, Reptilicus, and Vicious Lips. And there again is Reptilicus, uh, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. It's been a while since I've seen this movie. Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man, cool. It's better to be dead and cool than alive and uncool. True words have never been spoken. These are very high quality too. Very, very nice. Here's Creature. Here is Kickboxer. Okay, so and over on Charge, there's a Kickboxer Week. Basically a Kickboxer uh, Marathon. All the Kickboxer movies. Kickboxer Kickboxer 2, Road, the, the Road Back. Kickboxer 3, The Art of War. Kickboxer 4, The Aggressor. And The Redemption kickboxer five so if you're a kickboxer fan definitely want to check out charge because they're doing a kickboxer marathon over there ah these are cool we've got some some like video store stickers here we've got be kind rewind we've got um, action movies we've got a dollar off charge if not rewound um, yeah very cool very very cool nice stickers there video store style stickers very cool we've got oh we've got some got a bag of microwave popcorn kirkland brand microwave popcorn gluten free so if you've got a gluten allergy these will not bother you <laughs> very nice touch there and we've got a like a kickboxer mini headband mini wristband what Okay, we've got like, yeah, it's like a little kickboxer mini headband or wristband or something. Eh? Not bad. Pretty cool. And let's see, it looks like we've got a t-shirt inside as well. Let's check it out here. <laughs> I can carry nearly 80 gigs of data in my head. From Johnny Mnemonic, of course. There it is. And on the back it says Comet, CometTV.com, Best Worst Movies, March 2018. So, yeah, pretty nice, um, pretty nice box of goodies here 
from Comet TV. Of course, love the um, the VHS clamshell here. I'll definitely put this up. This nice little touch. <laughs> Very cool. Full of goodies. All kinds of stuff. Popcorn, cards, all kinds of fun stuff. So, yeah, yeah. And so to reiterate my Yay It's Mail Day, I got the Comet TV um, mystery box. And if you guys would like to win any of the stuff that you saw in this Comet TV box, head over to my website. I've probably got the contest already posted. Um, very simple to enter to win. All you have to do is follow the link and leave a comment um, on that uh, giveaway. And uh, yeah, you can win all this cool stuff here from Comet TV. So you head over to my website, pizow.com. But yeah, nice stuff here from Comet TV. Very cool stuff. I got um, the 35th anniversary Blu-ray release of your The Hunter from the Future from my buddy, Tori. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Definitely looking forward to checking this thing out because it looks like, again, it looks like a doozy. I mean, this artwork here, just how glorious is that artwork right there? Just absolutely glorious. Great, great stuff. And I got... The hockey masks from my buddy AJ, very nice quality uh, hockey masks from Freddy vs. Jason. Got a really nice high quality one here. Uh, pr the pre-fight mask with leather straps, very, very nice quality. And uh, it, very nice quality on this one as well, more of a budget uh, hawk with the uh, with Freddy's, uh, with the, uh, the battle damaged version of the hawk here. Both of them very, very nice. Go check out Lou Evil masks check them out yeah so yeah if you guys enjoyed this yay it's mail day please leave it a thumbs up if you're not following me on social media those links are in the description they're also right around here as always thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it take care and until next time peace Join the A Buck A Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, Derek Jana, Richard Mead, Jeremiah Lambert, Craig Farrand, Farron Sutton, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Turi Delamore, Johnny Yeager, and Joseph Charlesworth. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.